My permit. Then my son is safe. Make her be praised. That such a fate could befall me. I never so much as considered it. Twas ill luck alone put me in this spot. I but overheard a conversation. I was attending to my duties as a royal aide, and a nobleman spoke nearby, yes? But I knew them not, and gave their fervent whispers little attention. Yet without warning, I found myself summoned by a guardsman. He accused me of spying on the pair, and banished me to the dungeon forthwith. I've lived the memory many times over in this place. Most like I could recall parts of the conversation if pressed. But that means naught now. I seek only to save my life, or failing that, keep harm from my son. Time is short. The guard will return here long and begin their interrogation. Most like they'll employ torture, which leaves my chances of survival pitifully low. I implore you, Arisen. Lead me from this terrible place. You are my final hope. Arisen! <laughs> Pardon, sir. <sighs> Arisen! Arisen! Pardon, sir. Arisen! Pardon, sir. My son! My son! I heard tell the Arisen made for the capital, and prayed to find you here. I can't even imagine what they must have done to you. It's all over now. I owe you so much, Arisen. Thank you. Mere thanks seem nothing weighed against your actions, Arisen. Without your aid, I would not stand before you, nor see my son again. This whole ordeal has a foul air about it. I fear the whispers I overheard are joined to sinister workings in the duchy. Perhaps we shall learn what the talk concerned here long. I only pray it causes us no further trouble. I've naught with which to repay your kindness. But if ever you find yourself in need, only say the word, and I'll be at your side. Make her guide you until then, Arisen.
to my old post, I fear. is fit to set the hairs on your neck to standing on end, huh? <laughs> and with good reason. I thought to enjoy a quiet nip of the old spirits here, away from prying eyes, huh? But then, a fearsome rumble came from further yon. Against my better judgment, I went and stole a look. Puss monsters, sure enough, a regular hive of them. Can't let the likes of them loose on the village, I thought. So I stayed here to hold them back. <laughs> Lucky thing I thought to sneak a drink. I'm well glad to see you, truth be told. I fear the beasts are beyond the means of this old man. Will you? My thanks. And good luck to you. Don't leave a one of them alive. The path beyond is convoluted and dangerous. Dear cousin, let this protect you. Take care.
beasts are slain then? Ha! <laughs> Joyful news! I will sleep easier, not having their light crawling about below the village. Here, tis a small token of thanks. Take it, my friend. <sighs> now to find another spot to steal a quiet drink. Ah, I hope to see you this day, Kaz. I have aught I would tell you. I have chosen to forego the fishing life, so I might travel the land and study its wonders. As such, I had hoped you might assist in preparations for my journey. How does this offer find you? I truly will always be in your debt, Kaz. For all else, I must provision myself for the trek. I need goods that restore energy. Something to speed my steps when exhaustion creeps round. Might you find me some such healing items? So Fornival is to stand trial. I cannot say it surprises me. I overheard him speaking with one of the Duke's ministers. It was a clandestine dealing, far departed from legitimate trade. A bit of smuggling, perhaps. I am in your debt, Arisen. Mayhap this is all I can do to repay you. Pray, take me to Grand Soren with you. I shall gladly take the stand, if it means bringing his crimes to light. It would be a pleasure to restore some scrap of order to this world gone mad. Please, sir. My thanks, Aris. You are to see Ice Prey. You make brought a witness, have you? Excellent work. I shall see to the necessary accommodations until the day of the trial. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. I entrust my petition. I cannot afford. Still no sign of the letter, then? Your reputation suggests... I'll know not to... That seal! You've found the letter! And the seal is yet unbroken! Good! Its contents remain a secret. I shall give it to His Grace myself at the earliest chance. You are a wonder, sir. I shall see that you are properly rewarded for this boon. An apology, sir. I confess, dismissing talk of arisen with the other old tales I heard at my nurse's teeth. But your actions leave little room for doubt. I am impressed. I know that healing items are of utmost import, and I do have a knack for needing. Perfect. These should keep me from getting into too much trouble, at least when you aren't around to save me. Now, what's next? What's next? Ah, yes, of course. Some source of light. My travels will most like take me to caves and other dark places. 
How could... How could I forget a light source? Judge, what can I do you for? As you will. As you will. What can I do? Take care. How could I? Many thanks. I needn't fear any darkness with this at my side. Is there else I require? Uh, ah. Food, of course. It's not that I'm picky. I just don't know what's fit to eat other than fish. Might... Some need of me? I... I've become human. Human. Like you. No more do I follow another. Now I can live together. The judge will soon hand down his ruling. We'd best hurry to the capital's... Order. I will have order. <clears throat> this inquest has its conclusion. Fornival Frescobaldi, in the name of his grace, Duke Edmund Dragonsbane, the court hereby proclaims its verdict. Guilty. Whereas you have deceived your fellow man to sate your avarice, the court sentences you to life imprisonment. This inquest is hereby ended. Ugh! <laughs> 
word of Fornival's verdict has come. He was judged guilty. It was a fair trial and thorough. Justice was done, thanks in great part to your efforts. I am not without pity for him and his house, but such are the wages of wickedness. And for you, sir, the wages of diligence. Take it with my thanks. Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. I had a task I wished entrusted to you, sir. But Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? She must be kept safe. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks that require you. It grieves me to report an item was stolen from the castle's stores a few days past. It was a possession of the Duke's and a treasure of the realm. The Worm King's Ring. The band was stolen under heavy watch. I fear it to be the work of someone within the castle. But first, the ring must be reclaimed. Will you do it, sir? You would do well to begin by asking the men and women of the castle. That ring is a treasure to all Grancis, and a symbol of the Duke's authority. 